One life. One place. Discovery Health Channel. Real life. Medicine. Miracles. It's 1 a.m. James is on night shift. We've got some really lousy weather. It's raining on us. The roads are slippery. Lucille Davidson is trapped inside her car. What do you want to talk about? Remember hitting the windshield? Ah! 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 How you doing, sugar? Okay, okay. My name's Jim. I'll be here oh with you all night. I know, baby. I know. at the scene of a two-car accident. Go ahead, take some deep breaths for me. We're going to bring up. Are you guys ready? We're going to bring her up. Lucille Davidson was hit head on. Her legs are badly injured. It can be kind of a, a rush, and you're running through your mind. What, what can I do for this patient that's going to make them more comfortable at the moment, and how am I going to get them to where they need to be the fastest, safest way possible? We're going to get you in the truck here. We've got some morphine on board to help take away some of that pain, OK? Does your head hurt right now? Okay, right now, actually we have to, sweetheart. Your leg is broken, okay? They're gonna have to try to straighten it out. Keep breathing that in for me. Yeah, girl. Sugar, you're doing great, okay? Is that some of that pain going away right now? Okay, okay, okay. Just, where does it hurt? By your wrist? Okay, and we're gonna get you in the truck and we're gonna head on down to Presby. Listen to me. We're gonna be going kind of quick. We'll put on some lights and signs, get you there, all right? You gonna show up? You gonna ever see the movie Emergency? Okay, remember all those people in the back room when they come with the patient? You're in the ball game now, okay? They're all gonna be there waiting. Okay? Go ahead, relax for me, Lucille. Somebody needs to be giving them a voice of reason. Let her know that things are gonna be okay. She's already chaotic in her mind as it is. She's got an obvious femur fracture. Pretty good fracture at that. Yeah. She's got some morphine on board here and trying to kill the pain a little bit. Hey, CEO. Anything hurting here on your arm? Okay. Hi. We're gonna take off, all right? Uh, original was 112 left. James races to the hospital with car crash victim Lucille Davidson. The femur fracture is pretty serious. She uh, started the windshield. She was unrestrained in this collision, so she could have some pretty good problems laying ahead. Helping somebody. You help them whether they have a little cut on their head or you help them when they crunch the car. You're there for all of it. Dr. Mahoney has been expecting them. Okay, are you ready well? Yeah. Okay, so there are a couple bumps. Dealing with car accidents can be real extreme. It can be very emotional and very traumatic for the folks involved in it. How you doing, ma'am? Watch the top purple strap needs undone yet. Strong radio pause. Okay, seal, here we go, sugar. One, two, three. 
James leaves Lucille in the hands of the trauma team. She messed it up real well. <laughs> when you're gonna break it, she broke it good. 503 Medic 14. Discovery Health Channel unveils bizarre medical cases so frightening you won't believe they actually happened. It sounded like something out of a Hannibal Lecter movie. Don't miss You Swallowed What at 8 when surgical tools get left behind at 9 and an all-new anesthesia nightmares at 10. It was as if my brain was exploding. All true, all new. I never even heard of this, but it was real. Monday night starting at 8, only on Discovery Health Channel. For a man down having a seizure in Market Square, probably the same guy we had the other day. He's unconscious, but he has a good pulse. May 14, be advised that male, when he called, stated he had just had a seizure, said he felt like there was another one coming on. The phone dropped. Uh, we have an open line there, possibly seizing at this time. A man went into seizure while making the 911 call. Dealing with our regulars here downtown it does kind of give you this small town atmosphere in the sense that you do know them. Hey, buddy. Back up. What's going on? 24 year old Matthew Radetzky is one of James's regulars. What's your name? Matthew? We've, we pick up Matthew a, a lot, and some of the problems that we have with Matthew is that. He doesn't take his medications. When he doesn't take his medications, he seizes out. He's, when he has his seizures, he's taking us out of service. We see him on the average of, uh, gosh, at least once a week. And you get a call to these folks, and actually you probably could be going somewhere that somebody's having cardiac arrest. All right, you know the drill here. We're just going to get a line going for you. I mean, so the meds are starting to work. Draw some blood. Big pinch, your partner. The operator said that she was, she was a little concerned because she was talking to you and then uh, you dropped the phone. You know, so. Sorry. Oh, no. No, that's not, that's not a problem. G today? Matthew. G today? Matthew. 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 How are we doing here, partner? Uh, during the course of our conversation, this patient's gone and went into another seizure at this time. And responsive. Matthew. Matthew. Hey, Matt. Matt. Wake up for me, Matt. Come on, Matt. Come on, our patient's uh, post uh unable to really re be aroused at this time. He's seizing again. Okay, I'm going to stay on the line here. Our patient's seizing again. We're going to go ahead and do it. Matt. Matthew. With a second seizure, Matthew was getting worse. Matthew, Matthew, can you hear me there, bud? Wake up for me. Same bald, ugly guy, still here. Wake up. I'm gonna go ahead and hook him up to the EKG here. Let's take a quick picture here, see if there's anything irregular about what's going on. Slowly comes back. He's coming around. Monitor still showing signs for them. Pressure 136. Still holding his airway. He's batting about 98%. Poor <laughs> flirting. You okay? All right. We're going to take you over to the hospital. 61 14. We treat these patients the same each time we see them for the simple fact that uh, there might be something different. What if their seizure fails to stop when, when we're there? What if it's, you know, you can't just become numb to the fact that you, you see them repeatedly. Here comes another one. Paramedics prepare for Pittsburgh's annual marathon. Here's your more feet of Valium, George. And the whole the marathon is 
a great activity, and I, I really like the marathon. I can't run the 26 miles like these folks. James is posted at the 22-mile mark. The anticipation in this job is great. You don't really get scared about it, or you're not really nervous about it. This is what you do. You know, beat sitting around not doing anything. You kind of look forward to being able to meet the people and have a patient or two and take care of somebody. He's uh, dehydrated here. They checked the chem strip here. It came back low in the 40s. So we'll give him a liter of fluid and see if we can't get him back up on his feet. Today was a great day. You're always prepared for the worst in, in these situations. You've got all the all the elements there. Actually, it's quite a relief when you actually know everybody's having a good time enjoying themselves in Pittsburgh. Next, on another episode of Paramedics, long hours, sleepless nights, and adrenaline-filled rescues. Experience the chaos of medicine in the streets. Next, on Discovery Health Channel, real life, medicine, miracles. It's a muscle-aching, lung-burning simulation of a real job few people could imagine, and even fewer could do. It's amazing. Not, not human. This is the Scott Firefighter Combat Challenge. In the firefighting profession, it is the ultimate test of fitness for the men and women who put their lives on the line every day. In Las Vegas, not far from the glitter of the Strip. Well, I'm trying to keep my husband out of <laughs> the casino. Firefighters are battling the clock and each other to crown a champion. There's not a lot of prizes, there's no money, we get a trophy, we get a banner, stuff like that. So we've had lots of people say, well, why do you do it then? You don't win money, you don't win glamorous things. It's just it's to be recognized and to be the best. The best of the best are here in Las Vegas, Nevada for the 13th annual Firefighter Combat Challenge World Championships. I never ever thought I'd be part of a, a group of world-class athletes like these individuals are. And I mean, when you look around, all you have to do is look at the people to know they're world-class athletes and to watch what they do. And, and being here, I can't even explain how it feels to be a part of that group and to be here in finals today is, is a dream come true for me. <laughs> They come from Lake Charles, Louisiana. So we've been practicing all year. We've been to eight competitions this year. And Alberta, Canada. Well, best luck to all of the champions, and uh, we just hope to kick some butt. And everywhere in between. And in addition to what you would normally think of as civilian firefighters, there are military firefighting teams competing here as well. We have different missions. We, in some cases, we uh, protect flying missions. In some cases, we got folks overseas in, in Iraq, Afghanistan, and places like that doing, doing completely different things than our civilian counterparts are doing. Uh, but it's important for us to be able to come out here and, and be able to work side by side with these guys and know that, that we are competitive with them. And they all come for the opportunity to enthusiastically put themselves through hell. The combat challenge is difficult from the get-go, and let me show you what I'm talking about. Come on over here. Before the firefighters even step out on the course, they're putting on about 40 pounds worth of gear. That includes a 20-pound air tank system. On top of that, firefighters taking part in the individual competitions have to suck compressed air through a mask. It's just a whole different experience breathing through the mask. You just gotta... Brenda! While he catches his breath, I'll show you the course. When the buzzer sounds, firefighters 